Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, this week, U.S. Midwest uh, should get a little warmer and there will actually be some moisture around. So that's offering a little resistance to the wheat market. Um, as far as South American weather is concerned, over the weekend, Argentina saw maybe four tenths of an inch, maybe 20% coverage. This was less than the market had anticipated. The next five to six days is dry. Now, the forecast suggests that from Sunday to Wednesday of next week, uh, Argentina could see four tenths to maybe one and a quarter inch of rain. Again, that's maybe offering some resistance to the bean market uh, because it's in the forecast. But uh, since how dry it's been, that may not be enough rain uh, to help conditions down there. So we have to kind of watch that pretty closely. Also, this week we've got the USDA report. Uh, market's expecting USDA to raise this, last year's corn crop, show a uh, record D1 corn and soybean stocks show uh, lower winter wheat uh, acreage for this year versus last year. Uh, some of the market will also be watching to see if they change any of the demand numbers in corn, beans, and wheat and actually raise the carryouts um, and we'll see what the market reacted to that. Funds um, were buyers of beans, meal, and corn, sold oil and wheat on Friday, continue to be short 84,000 beans. 200,000 corn, 130,000 wheat contracts. And again, with the outside markets percolating a little bit on the upside in commodity prices, you have to wonder how long they want to keep those prices. Um, average guesses going into uh, the report on January 12th, USDA's got a 445 bean carryout. The range is 486 to 530. And most people think that they'll lower eventually the demand. The corn USDA's got a 2437 carryout, pretty wide range between 2327 and 2510, depending on what, what you want to do with the crop size and what you want to do with final demand. And from wheat, the USDA's at 960, the low is 900, the high is 986, and here again, it's all up to what you plug in as far as demand is concerned. Today, uh, President of the United States Trump is at uh, Nashville at the National uh, Farm Bureau meeting. Uh, some of the hot topics uh, by farmers will be NAFTA, uh, what he's going to do with the farm bill. There is talks about making cuts to help pay for some of the tax reform and then the declining farm income. So we'll watch pretty closely and see how all that goes. So basically, we're looking at a fairly tight trading range going into uh, Friday's report. Um, ADM Investment Services annual meeting is also Saturday with a good lineup of speakers. Hope to see everybody down there and we'll try to answer everybody's questions. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Investment Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.